Hi there, hope your Tuesday is going along nicely in spite of that, yeah, little refreshing side of snow this morning. Yeah, we had to uh, whiten things up after the thaw and uh, with most of us seeing just a dusting nuisance snow, the kind you could broom around. Well, it started out uh, Tuesday on, yeah, a fresh note, didn't it? And we've got more of the same headed our way the next few days. We've got an Arctic air mass that's going to move in. And as it does, we're going to see repeated bouts of some very light snows. Less than an inch with each occurrence, but repeated bouts will likely get us to that snowiest uh, winter record in Toledo uh, before we get into the weekend. Uh, in addition to that, overnight tonight into tomorrow, we've got an Arctic outbreak headed our way for the third time this year. Bitter and dangerous cold streams in here, and it's going to be sticking around for quite some time. In addition to that, stay tuned on this. The models are split, but the one that's been right on all winter is hinting at the chance for significant uh, snowfall and a wintry mix headed our way the end of the weekend into early next week with cold air behind that. So the hazards continue to work their way in here. Uh, the widespread snow showers are out of here. We may see a stray flurry here and there this morning, but uh, this afternoon I think a mix of sun and clouds, uh, partly sunny we'll call it, cold high temperatures this afternoon, 15 degrees below normal. Throw some wind on top of that. Feels like temps this afternoon in the teens. And the colder air, the Arctic air, is waiting in the wings up in Minnesota. This will arrive in time for your Wednesday morning with dangerously cold wind chills headed our way. So through the day today, it's going to be the nicest day we'll see for quite some time, believe it or not. Straight flurry here and there, a mix of sun and clouds, high temps, mid-20s this afternoon with winds out of the west, 10 to 20. Feels like temps will be in the teens. The Arctic air arrives overnight. Tomorrow morning, we'll start out in the low single digits, close to zero. The winds are going to be howling out of the northwest. We'll see feels like temperatures. I'll show you those in a minute, but we're talking double digits below zero. Frostbite territory, and it's going to stick with us throughout the day. Highs on Wednesday afternoon will not even get to the teens. And the wind on top of that will make it Dangerous to be outside for prolonged periods of time. You're going to need to cover up, look out for frostbite. Here comes another surge of Arctic air in here. Uh, overnight Wednesday into Thursday, another smattering of snow and another one headed our way on Saturday. But Thursday, bitterly cold, windy, and by Friday morning, we'll see actual temperatures 5 to 10 below zero. So today, Single digit wind chills throughout the day, not getting a whole lot better. But overnight, that bitter cold works its way in here. 15 to 25 below zero will be the apparent temperature to the ungloved hand out there. And they're going to remain dangerously cold throughout the day on Wednesday. We're not done there. More of the same on Thursday. And believe it or not, right into the day on Friday. For the third time this year, we'll see feels like temperatures, wind chills getting to 20, 25 below zero. Hang in there. It's got to end eventually, I just don't know when. 24 the high this afternoon. Uh, the widespread snowfall is over after that uh, dusting. But uh, yeah, we can see a flurry later on today. A mix of sun and clouds, high of 24 with the winds. Feels like temps in the teens. There's the bitter cold getting in here as early as your Wednesday morning. Dangerous wind chills, bitterly cold. By Friday morning, we'll start out at 6 below zero. We could see some nuisance snow showers again on Saturday, and that's in advance of what looks to be the potential for a major winter storm headed our way early next week. Stay tuned on that. The model that's been performing has us getting a serious wintry mix Monday, changing to snow on Tuesday, and behind that, more cold headed our way. Hang in there. It's got to end, end eventually. A couple more weeks of winter left officially. It's certainly going to feel like it. Thanks a lot for joining us for your web forecast. Make it a great day. I'm meteorologist John James.